So man, I, but I'm gonna have to challenge you on that though, bro, because uh, <laughs> all the hours we got to put in leading up to it, like working. Oh with the yeah, I don't think about that. Yeah, the, the yeah. songs like to walk down that walk songs to walk down the yeah. aisle, the intro songs, the specialty songs that you have to work with them to get together, oh, and then it's like yeah. you got to really know I like the demographics that. of the wedding, and then it's like you got set up and breakdown of all the equipment. So I'm there like at least two to three hours before the wedding even starts, taping down cords and setting okay. up speakers. And yeah, so it, it's it's a lot. And then I'm usually the last one leaving the venue because I'm taking up all the tape, yep. wrapping all the cords. Say you got to load up the car, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so. It honestly takes a whole, like it takes for sure, it takes a whole day. And let alone say you got to travel somewhere. It's, it's a lot. But I will say that I weddings are my favorite to DJ, like they're they're really? for sure my favorite over, event over, over, DJ. over nightclubs and, and and different events like that. Oh, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Yeah, and and it's not just because you get paid more; it's it's legit because like you get to play for the a wide range of ages. So like I get to hit all types of different types of music that I just enjoy. Like you can go old school while it's like you know because there's parents and grandparents and and kids, so you can hit them with like old school vibes and and slowly transition it into then you get into the more ratchet stuff as uh you know as the old people tired out you tire out get off the floor and then you got the and you just see the the blending of the families because that's where okay. the, honestly the ceremony is all great and whatnot but the honestly the real marriage happens on the reception dance floor when those families are coming together and, and cutting a rug together because yeah, that's yeah, really yeah. when the, when the bonding starts, when y'all sweating together on the yeah, dance floor, yeah. man, I really take pride in my job at the, at those moments, like for real. Like, hey, but I, uh, I, I get you. Go ahead. I get you. No, I'm saying yeah. I get you, man. But I mean, cut you off. I said I get you because, like, I went through my wedding. You know, you had to like I didn't even think about the DJ. You know, we had to get the you know the song that you walk down the aisle for, and what we want to yeah. play at the, the intro to walk in, where we coming through the reception doors, and you know, making sure you have uh, all that stuff set up. And I didn't think about like the setup and breakdown for the DJ. You know what I mean? Because you don't really, because you never ever really there then. Because they're all like I said, you're always there first. You just always yep. come there, and the DJ's already playing music, <laughs> so you don't really think about that. So I told you. So do you factor that price into your into your cost? Like when you're actually giving a quote to someone, like, hey, this is my price, not necessarily just a flat fee for a wedding. You just kind of factor all that stuff in. Yeah, I got charged an equipment fee, and a uh, and that, and the equipment fee handles like basically the rental of the equipment. It, I mean, it's my equipment, but um in case i wouldn't have to bring it but um but yeah the rental of the equipment it handles like setup and breakdown and whatnot so yeah i definitely have to factor that in and then the setup because it's a it's a ton of setup like when you factor in taping down t- cords that go across you know like you you could be running cords 50 to 100 feet you know what i'm saying and you yep. got to tape all that down so honestly before the before the wedding even starts i'm exhausted because i've been sweating Bent over, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly.